Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video we will discuss about how to stay up to date with the data science world because things are moving so fast that it just becomes really hard to stay up to date with everything. So there are a few things which I personally do. You can do those things and uh, hopefully you can stay up to date with all the developments that are happening in uh, in data science because I've got this question quite a lot in live Q&A that I do every Saturday 12 p.m. UK time. Uh, like how to stay up to date with data science and what things to learn what not to learn so those kind of things so maybe I will keep uh, what to learn and what not to learn for another video this is a completely separate discussion but in this video I will discuss about uh, how you can stay up to date and things that I personally do uh, to stay up to date in data science world so yeah that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this video but if you are new here if you subscribe to the channel please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming kill family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and uh, yeah with that being said let's uh, get this video started so the first point is you can follow some of the data science leaders on twitter or x now so some of the names that uh, i can um, suggest or some of some of the people uh, that i personally follow are uh, sam altman jan lee Kuhn, andre karpati andrew ng lex friedman so these are just some of the names uh, but then i think when you go to my twitter uh, you'll be able to find uh, people i personally follow so yeah uh, that's the first thing that you can do because if there is something significant which is uh, going on in the world of data science ai uh, they will be the ones uh, talking about it and uh, if they are talking about something then definitely it is something of uh, great importance and maybe then you can look for some other things and read about it and that's exactly what we are going to talk about in the next section with that let's move on to the next thing that i personally do is uh, subscribe to some of the newsletters so some of the newsletters that i personally follow quite a lot are uh, superhuman that's the first one the next one is i think tldr ai and uh, the other one is i think it's the rundown ai so i will leave all the relevant links in the description so that you can go and uh, follow those uh, people and also you can subscribe to these newsletters so that will help you uh, stay up to date so these newsletters you can receive directly in your email and you just need to keep an eye on your email and uh, you can go to those uh, newsletters and you can read in a very short term you don't have to um, because when you go to an article you will have to spend like at least 10 uh, 15 minutes to read the whole article whereas a newsletter you get those brief summaries which you can read to uh, get the gist of it but if you feel like yes this is something which is relevant to you and if you uh, want to really learn that thing you can always look for uh, bigger articles or uh, the videos on youtube uh, explaining that particular topic and while we are on the topic of explaining things on youtube the next uh, thing that i do is i follow or i subscribe to some of the channels uh, who are mainly into explaining these things via their videos so some of the channels i think pro there are two major cha uh, major channels that i personally follow two minutes paper so that channel actually makes a video in very simple terms so they can explain you a lot of different concepts a lot of different papers in just under 10 minutes which is really good uh, so that you will be able to get the gist of that uh, uh, paper or the topic uh, so yeah uh, i definitely recommend that uh, channel and the next channel is yannick kilcher so yeah and that's the name of the content creator and then his channel is also named after uh, his name so he explains those papers in a much detailed way so after watching a video on two minutes paper if you feel like uh, you need a better explanation or you need more in-depth explanation you can go to uh yana kilcher's cha channel and then you'll be able to find more content there and hopefully you'll be able to understand those topics in a much easier way now with that being said let's move on to the next point which is go to data science meetups um, why it is important is because when you go to a meetup there are a lot of people explaining about what they are doing in the world of data science 
and it is not necessarily gonna always be about something new but then you will get some new ideas from there so if they are talking about some use case that they are trying to solve using some traditional machine learning model but then you never thought about it so you will get some new ideas from there and also there are a lot of people who are making use of these recent technologies to solve their use case so from there you will be able to understand how they are making use of these uh, new technologies or new advancements in the world of data science so that's why meetups are very important and you should definitely go and attend those meetups but now the question is how to find those meetups uh, it's really hard but then there are a lot of online meetups which you can go to uh, but then there are a lot of physical meetups um, that you can attend and i personally think physical meetups are much better as compared to the online ones because then you can make some good connections as well when you go to those physical uh, or in-person meetups so there are a couple of websites which i can suggest first one is meetup.com and the second one is eventbrite so you can use those uh, websites to look for a meetup in your locality and hopefully you'll be able to find something relevant to your domain and one other thing that uh, you can do to find these kind of groups and community is maybe search for data science machine learning ai on facebook group section on twitter also you can find these things and you'll be able to find some groups there as well so yeah you can do uh, those things to stay connected to some community on social media as well now with that being said let's move on to our uh, next point which is take courses because if you know that uh, generative ai is very popular in today's market then why not maybe take a course on udemy you can find courses for a very cheaper price so maybe go on udemy and search for uh, generative ai course something like that and you'll be able to find a lot of courses there and uh, after learning from those courses if you feel like you need more in-depth knowledge and if it was not sufficient then you can always look for courses in some other places and uh, taking courses is always good because it helps you to skill up yourself and when you want to be in the world of data science you always want to uh, skill up and i think it's not just about data science it, it it's relevant in any domain um, so yeah uh, taking courses is another way of uh, staying up to date in the world of data science and uh, the last but not the least uh, is you can join our community programming credit community we have a pretty healthy community on uh, our telegram and uh, also on discord so if you need any help if you need any suggestion or if you're working on a project you need to collaborate with someone or if you're looking for some ideas if you are thinking about something you can always post these questions or thoughts in those groups and see how people react to it and maybe you'll be able to find someone to collaborate with you so yeah do definitely join our community and people are really helpful there so yeah these are the things which you can do to stay up to date in the world of data science and uh, with that if you need a video on skills needed for a data scientist in 2024 uh, do let me know i will make a video on that because things are changing quite fast and there are a lot of things which people usually don't talk about so yeah uh, do let me know i will i will make a video on that as well with that being said have a great day and uh, i'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things bye happy learning